Hello everyone, this is Simrex, and welcome back to the Minecraft Freestyle Survival Guide. Today we're going to hopefully finish our iron farm. Uh, I got the first part here I've been testing. Say hi to our uh, lovely test subject 3 back there. He's now a permanent resident. So, I think, whoops, I think I might be on to a way to do this because in, uh, I think it's actually started sometime in one of the 1.16 patches, but villagers just have to be able to sleep within the last 20 minutes or within the last day for your iron farm to work, otherwise it won't work. But that's why I said in the last episode we don't need workstations and stuff, so what I've got here is a daylight sensor rigged up to a comparator with a couple pieces of redstone and a repeater to power the sticky piston. So it's daylight now if I flick this back it'll block the view of the zombies so our villagers once we set up their cell here can sleep at night and then if we flick this back to daytime it's depowered or maybe that's nighttime I don't know anyway it's depowered now during the day and the block is now pulled out of view of where our villager would be so that's the first task, is to get this rigged up. I think we have four villagers. If not, we're going to have four. That we're going to have four cells, and then four sticky pistons like that with some blocks to block that off at night so our villagers can sleep. And I figured that'd be easier to set that system up while we didn't have villagers in here. So I'm going to mess around with this and let's see what we can come up with. And I guess while we're waiting, since this is taking so long, I can go ahead and start building up some of the cells up here for these guys. And then we'll check on this once night falls and see how it did. And we'll start with this first cell. We'll move our crafting table out of the looks I, I might have to come down and do this circuitry from underneath but I'm gonna try to just do it up here and run it around all the villager cells so like maybe move them back a couple blocks and leave this open that way I can run redstone around here so with that said I'm gonna start building up some cells for our guys here and I'll be back with y'all in a few okay so our Comparator is now powered, but nothing is happening. There it goes. Okay, there's a little bit of a delay, but that's fine. That should stay like that all night until the morning. I want to make sure that in the morning, it depowers that piston and opens it back up. So I'm going to continue to build here and get our cells in place at least. How about we got a farmer? I bet you that's a zombie villager, but it looks like there's a farmer down there. Yeah, that's a zombie. I can tell by the way it's moving. Okay, never mind. I was questioning how we had a farmer down there. Okay, I've got each cell now in position. I hope there's no way the villagers can glitch through the walls when they sleep. That does tend to happen sometimes. So we might actually fill in the corners there and there like behind with stone. So we'll have to get their beds in here. They'll have a little place to stand at the end. So they'll have to look at the zombie. And it's still nighttime, so still waiting to see what happens with this in the morning. But I think this is going to work. I'm just curious if there's a way to do this with just one daylight sensor or if I need four. I know I built an iron farm before with a circuit under the bottom that went like crazy everywhere but perhaps I can just do this with one if I work around with repeaters and redstone to power all the tor or all the uh, pistons so the next one would need to be right here whoops it's all right just want to keep with the fact that we're using stone. So the next one on this corner. Go ahead. 
ahead and fill in this part of floor here. Sticky piston there. See if we can tape our redstone out around. Activates that one, but not that one. You know it is getting power. No, it's not. Just gonna get another redstone there. And a repeater there. And it did depower like it was supposed to. I just flipped the switch back to make sure that everything was getting power. Okay, block there, and now we'll just continue this little circuit all the way around. Okay, there we go. That takes care of our daylight sensor circuit. Need to switch it back to nighttime. All those should be depowered now. And have a clear view of the zombie. Good deal. Okay, on to the next part we can start. Going ahead and let's get our beds in place. Get all these closed in and then we're going to devise a way to get villagers up here. So I don't know how I managed this, but I believe I made this cell one shorter than the rest of them. I'm not sure uh, how that happened. There we go. Okay, and now comes a fun part of, I think we're going to do this with minecart and rail. We need to get our villagers up here. We're probably going to do this like one at a time. And we'll have rail up here we can rebuild. We need to get them up here and we'll do it one at a time. So we'll start with this one. Okay, guys, and with that all set up, we got it set up for the first villager. We're going to test it ourselves and make sure it works as intended. So we're going to start with the guy that was in this little box here, but we're going to go ourselves actually could take that out that way it doesn't just take off without us we'll put a regular rail there we'll put our mine cart here get in it and we'll just take a redstone torch and put down there to power it. And takes a little rot. And we should fall right into this last farthest hole here. Our minecart. Yep. So our villager will fall into there. We'll be able to break the minecart out from underneath of them. And that's that. So we'll go ahead and plug this one up, since that's the one we're going for first, and we're going to go get us a villager. Okay, so take that out for now. I think the best thing to do is probably build up around this just a tad. We have some run-up room to catch our villager. We'll put a block there temporarily. Okay, break the bed, get our 
Blind cart. Hopefully he'll start walking that way. And we can get him in the cart and then break that block. Come on, homie. That's right, you go that way. Come on, don't be dumb, dude. Come on. There we go. Now he can't really come back here now. Come on. On the rail. On the rail. Thank you. Is he in it? No, he's not in it. This might need to be regular rail. So we have some... Because when the powered rail is not powered, it stops mine carts. Let's see if we can get him on it now. Alright, we'll break that. Break these. Try to get him on that powered rail. There he goes, he's off. Which means we need to be off as well. Except we don't need to be in the way. The villager should be coming. Yep, he's coming. Down in the hole. Go ahead and take that out. Put a roof over this guy. There is one villager safe and sound. And now we just got to break that. Use a little lighter trick to crawl through there. And let's get up here and set up for our next villager. And what we're going to have to do is break these out and set up a stop and a hole in the next cell. So this one. Stop a hole. And we can go get our next villager. Okay, everybody's freaking out. That's good. That's what we want. So the next thing I need to do is clean out my inventory. And then get a top built onto this thing. So I'm going to need more stone. Alright, so for this we're just going to build a platform. It goes to the edge of each of these cells and maybe one past. I think I'm going to go off of this side and our kill chamber is going to be over here. So I'm going to start here. Let's see. Let's start here with some fence and then see which way we need to take our guys. For test purposes, we're going to put down a bucket of water and see how far it makes it. Eight. Wait, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Makes it to there. Let's go ahead and get that back. Got to figure out how we're going to get these guys killed. Hmm. I think we do eight water sources across the back. So we'll go ahead and retrieve. Let's see. One. Go ahead and get our fence post back for a minute. And then we also need more stone. What I want to do is build up the back one higher and then have it drop down and then drop them into here. Drop them off here somewhere to, to die. So, need some more stone. Now we'll go ahead and set up our real water sources back here, I think. Oops, I accidentally waterlogged our fence there, didn't I? There we go. All those should come right to the edge. They do. Go ahead and 
actually probably build these up one block and then put and hopefully our golems don't get stuck on that and now we'll put fence up here and same thing here it should go right to the edge yes all right, we have all those going just to the edge there so I think we need a channel maybe three four blocks wide let's go out to here actually could we just make this whole thing here the kill area just put in some hoppers down here I think we could we are going to try to go to sleep we're probably going to have to go inside or we're going to be disturbed oh yeah there's a creeper over there okay so real quick I'm going to have to adjust our daylight sensor circuit because it's underneath now oh yeah we're gonna have to fix that because we've got golems spawning down here we don't want them spawning down here we want them spawning up there <laughs> okay is that opened or closed that's closed we need this to be switched So what we're going to do is, we, this is probably just going to have to be too high in here. Anyway, let's go make a bunch of hoppers. And start setting up a kill area. Got two hoppers there. This is 18. I think we're going to need more than that. So let's grow up some trees it's nice having this tree farm here it's very handy when you need a bunch of trees fast a bunch of wood fast Are we out of bone meal we built this how long ago we're just finally out of bone meal in it all right i guess we'll uh go grab some of our backup bone meal and feed it Okay, we're going to start with 27. That should be, that should get us close. I think I threw a tool, I believe. Yep, threw the axe. Okay, so that's one down. Two, three. To just place something as a placeholder down there. Okay, that's where we're going to put hoppers right there. And whatever side we're going to collect on, we'll send them that direction. Alright, send them over here. And hopefully, this is enough. Alright, so set them on too wide here. I think they'll fall down. I don't think they'll be able to get out of that. Let's see if I build it up around here. So what we're going to do here in a minute is put a bunch of signs down on top of these hoppers and then put lava on top of the signs. And for now, we're going to put tall walls around here. And eventually we'll put fence around this wall. Now, we need a bunch of signs. Probably put, probably need to eat. <laughs> I can probably put all this stone up for now. I have 24 signs on me, or maybe 26. I don't know if that's quite enough. Put these, I guess, this way. So I'm going to say like random stuff. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. We are eight signs short. Okay, signs in place. We actually made that one too long, but that's okay. Now let's go get some rest and then go get a couple buckets of lava. And actually, before we start placing lava, we should go ahead and put fences around here. Now we're going to crouch and we're going to be very careful. We're going to put a bucket of lava there and hopefully it spreads out all the way to the end. 
Almost. So let's put it on the next one back instead. I do think we're going to need one or two more buckets of lava, so let's go grab them real quick. Alright, now let's very carefully set in the rest of our fence. Might need to use something besides fence because it appears to be burning. Yeah, we're going to have to use some uh, wall blocks or something for that. Alright, so instead of fence, let's do some wall block. Go ahead and tear this out. There we go. And that should be our spawning area for our golems. Back this off a good bit. I'm going to have to tear it down later anyway, but right now we want to make sure no golems can spawn on this. Pretty sure that's more than 16 blocks. And then we need to get up here and make sure no, no golems can spawn under here anywhere. Needs to be too tall. He's going to kill me. He can't reach me though. There. Anyway, as I was saying, we want to make sure that this is low enough, that no golems can spawn under here. The other thing we can do is put bottom slabs all over it. And we also need to get a collection chest over there somewhere. Which I don't have anything to build with, so I'll just hook a chest on the end of there after the episode's over. Uh, for now, I think we're going to fill this in AFK here a little bit and see if we can get some iron. Yep, already getting some iron. I can hear him up there. I don't know if y'all heard him, but I heard him. Alright guys, my name is Ms. Simrex. Thanks for watching this episode. I sure hope you guys enjoyed. If you enjoyed this, be sure to leave a like. If you'd like to see more like this, be sure to subscribe. I'm going to fill this in. Put in a collection chest and call this done. Thanks for watching. Enjoy the rest of your night. Bye.